All right. Um, just wanted to pop in here and talk about social media tonight. Talk about like posting in general and just answer any questions and stuff. So, um, before I do that, I want to share with you guys like my favorite, um, apps that I use and my favorite, like, I don't know, social media hacks, I guess. Um, and then I'm going to go through and just kind of review a couple of people's Instagram handles that you guys shared and then just really open it up for questions. Um, and so please know that like, <laughs> I'm not the God of social media at all. I'm actually learning just along with you. So I'm kind of doing this call because I wanted to do the research and like look up all of these different apps and stuff. Um, it's not because I'm like, the bomb.com and I already knew all these. <laughs> so, and, um, some of these apps are, um, ones that I use daily. Some of them are like ones I've just used when I first started. So, um, okay. So the favorite ones that I have right now on my phone, um, the first one is just called fonts F O N T S. And basically what it is, is it opens up another keyboard on your, um, text. And so like, I know Karina uses it. Um, I think, I think hers is like one of the, <laughs> I'm sorry if you guys, probably everyone uses it, but I just noticed it with hers a lot just in like the first couple of sentences, but basically it bolds it, it makes it italicized, it makes like old English writing, um, you can do slanted writing, and you can go back and forth, um, and so it makes it pretty cool. A lot of you guys used it in your bio, and I'm going to show you that later too. Um, so that's a free app if you want to download it, it downloads a keyboard, and you just use it when you want it. Um, it's kind of like the emojis, like you just click the circle and then it just opens up. Um, Canva is what I'm going to show you here in just a second. You can have it on your computer or on your phone. It's absolutely amazing. You can do Instagram stories. You can do, um, you know, like presentations like this Facebook post I'm doing right now. This is obviously on Canva. Um, and you can share links to people. They can copy it and then they can use it for themselves. Um, and so Canva is kind of like my Google Doc, basically, but like, um, designing and stuff. Um, video collage is actually something I just found um, last couple of weeks with Morning Meltdown 100. Um, so you can do a video, like if you did your before and after video or before and after photos for like Morning Meltdown 100. So that's what I use mine for. Um, I just want to show you really quick. Um, I can't remember what post I used it for. I use it on Facebook a lot. I know that. Um, but basically what I did is I videotaped my before pictures instead of just like taking a photo and all that stuff. Cause I have so many people who are just like weird and like say weird things about my before and after photos. So I videotaped it. So I was like, you can't like me. Yeah. You can't bull crap that stuff. So one second, let me show you. Um, but anyway, video collage is free. And basically what I did is I just took two videos. So I took the video of my before one and I just, like shortened it to exactly what I wanted to show people. And then when I did my after one, I did the exact same thing. Um, and then you just put them side by side, just like you would uh, before and after. And then um, I just try to like line them up. So they're pretty much even. Um, and then the timing is off on some of them, but it's pretty close. Okay. So here's this. If you see like one of them moves a little bit faster than the other one, but I couldn't really get it perfect, but that's a video collage. So it's free, but it's freaking awesome, especially on Instagram and stuff too. Um, you know, just showing people the real, the raw basically. So on Instagram, what I would do is use a photo and then just have them swipe to look at that video collage. Um, TikTok is what T uses every single morning. Kate uses it sometimes. I know Jody has been using it. Um, I don't know if anyone else uses it a ton. Um, I am not familiar with TikTok. Like I have, I think my kids use it when I was teaching, but um, I just messed with it a little bit tonight just to kind of get to know it. So um, if that's something that you want to do, you know, you can research it. It's a free app, you know, just download it and check it out. Um, I created a, um, an account today and was just kind of messing with videos and stuff. So um, TikTok is what um, she uses all the time. So um, maybe I'll have her do like a, live tutorial on our team page. Oh, Beth has a secret TikTok obsession. Perfect. Okay, so is T on this call? I didn't see her. She is. Oh, her video is off. Um, somebody remind me to ask her to do a video <laughs> for TikTok. Beth, are you really good at it? Like, you love it? No, you're just like, okay. She's laughing her ass off. Okay. 
Kathy, do a call for us. I'll just have her do a call for us. Perfect. Okay. Um, Snapseed is something that I love to use, especially when you have like random things pop up um, on a photo and you want to like get rid of it, but it's um, called Snapseed and it has like the leaf on it. Um, and so it's free. Um, and if you open it up and you add your photo to it, you can pretty much do like lightning, darkening. Um, I used to use like that as my preset. Um, you can do healing so you can get rid of stuff. Um, if you have like weird, you have like a bruise on your face or like a blemish or something like that. Um, it like just brightens everything. Um, it's awesome to play around with. So Snapseed is what it's called. Um, Word Swag, I think you do have to pay for it. Um, but once you pay for it, I think you have it. Um, I have no idea how much I spent. I think it was like three ninety nine, dollars maybe. Um, but I use it every single day. So it literally paid for itself. Um, on word swag, it looks like this. And so, um, all of the pictures that I use for, um, challenge groups, for banners, for, um, shout outs, for, um, like calls for tonight, all of that stuff is all, um, from word swag. So if you are in our um, time to create, I shared this picture, join us for our call on Tuesday, that I use word swag. Um, so that is definitely worth your money if you're willing to spend like $4 on it. Um, it's great for a challenge group, it's great for you posting, it's great for your stories if you wanna use them. I use it a lot of times just to like create those lists for challenge groups, um, just to kind of spice up some stuff. So it's a really, really, really good app. Um, and then obviously my last one is, the, my last one is the Lightroom Mobile CC. So that is this one where it's like teal and it says LR on it. Um, that one is for your presets. So if you do mobile presets, um, it's on Etsy. And if you log in and you do those mobile presets, um, you're going to need Lightroom Mobile CC. And that is like, my dream. Like that's where I literally have, um, like all of my photos. So let me show you. I just did this one tonight. So here's the original photo. If you like hold on to them, it's like darker and stuff. And then when I let go, that's my preset. So you can tell like what it does to your photos. Um, but light removal CC is, I use it every single day. So, um, <laughs> Yes, they have tons of options, tons of folders to organize everything. Um, you can leave them in there. So basically what happens on Lightroom Mobile CC is like you download a picture that looks like this. And this picture actually has like settings on it and you just copy it and paste it onto your pictures. And that's what changes it. So um, if you get bored someday, go to my Instagram handle and just scroll. Um, you'll see my new preset. You'll see my older tan preset. You'll see my black and white preset. Like I have different ones for kind of like different months or different, like just when I'm feeling different. But um, if you see like an Instagram page and it's very like all one themed or um, like it all is um, kind of looks like a magazine, like that's kind of what a preset does is it just basically makes it so all of the colors are like the exact same. So it looks pretty cool. So um, those are my top ones. I didn't want to give you a crap ton of them because I really don't use anything else besides Canva and Snapseed and my Lightroom Mobile CC. I use WordSwag for my business. Video collage is for my pre and post workouts. And I actually don't use TikTok, but I know a lot of the girls do. So I did put that on there. Um, just right now, does anybody have any other apps that are their favorite? I want to put them on a post-it hype type. Thank you. Yes, if you can please throw them in the chat really quick. I'm going to put them on here. Um, and then I will save this for you guys um, and share it. So just any favorite apps you can think of that I did not touch on. So anything besides, like where are my young people at? <laughs> um, Triller is the same as TikTok. Okay. And so that's what you use, Jody. Sorry, I thought you used. I, see, I didn't even know there was a difference. I'm so old. <laughs> unfold um oh yeah the plan app I was gonna tell you too so I'm working with Bobby Jones he did a a call for our team um probably a couple of months ago back in May and I actually run I use his um I actually do his social media um for him so like a side business for me it's really weird <laughs> um but like you can see before um his social media like needed help a lot 
And then you can tell from here on up, like I've started using and working his social media. So you can tell he's starting to get continuity and all that stuff. I've actually used, instead of the plan app, um, let me get the correct spelling. And it's nice because I can, I can use it and then I can show him before I um, like upload it to his, it's called A-P-P-H-I. It's just like the plan app. So you can like schedule, um, once you do this, you can schedule your posts and stuff. Um, and then it shows you like your layouts and everything. Um, you can schedule like actual posting and pictures and stuff like that. So that might be something for those of you who work a lot and are always running around, that might be something good. Um, oh, Boomerang, duh. I have it downloaded on my um, Instagram handle. Hopefully, that's how I think that's how I got it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I think I just downloaded the Boomerang app and then added it to my Instagram. Um, layout, Shay, what's layout? I don't know what that is. I unmuted myself. Is that all right? Yeah, go for it. You're fine. So it's it's what I use for literally all of my before and after pictures it's a form of Instagram I'm pulling it up here it's this. oh, oh so yeah, yeah. It's like this yeah. and you can click as many photos as you want and just mix in mm -hmm. match. and I always put my stuff in there and then I'll pull it over to Lightroom and add my presets to them so yeah. the presets all look the same yep I definitely do that too <laughs> I didn't know that's what it's called <laughs> um let's see what else is there Boomerang, plan app, unfold. What's unfold? Where's T? I don't know if she can. I don't know what that is. Um, any other? What, what is it? It's the best for stories. Oh gosh, I probably should have it. <laughs> Where's Jody at? How do you make those video things? Do you use Canva, as you say? Yeah, you literally just like upload a video in there and then like the background's white. And then I just do like, um, just like the text from it. It's just like, can't, it's, I mean, it's just like adding a picture in Canva, but it's just a video. And then like, here, I'll show you. And then like in Canva, you know, you have like your templates and stuff. Do you know that? Yeah, sorry, Aaron's going to show the dogs are working. Um, so like literally all I do is I just like click this thing. Oh, I don't know if you can see, sorry. Like these are all my like workout things and I just like click in the top right and I just like make a copy and then I just change the day. Okay, I need to learn that. I was looking at it before and I was like, I have no idea what I'm doing, but it is on Canva. So I'll just do that tonight. Okay. Yeah, so like if you just go to um, like down here, how it has the plus sign. Yeah. And then I just do Instagram story. So it fits in there and then you just do the blank. Right. Okay. And then you can go down in the corner and it just has add like image or video. Okay. Perfect. Cause I love that. I've just been putting it in the corner and putting words. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is there any other apps you guys can think of? Um, what was the one that I was just going to download on my phone? Unfold. Okay. I'll make sure I download that one. Um, I was going to say too, like there's some apps that I use for like my challenge groups, like the WhatsApp um, Boxer. I don't know if you guys are familiar. Boxer, WhatsApp. Um, obviously you can use Snapchat. Like I just add some challengers in a Snapchat thread and then I just snap them all day and like annoy the shit out of them. <laughs> Cause it's like, I'm showing up. Where are you? Um, so I don't know if that is anything else. Is there anything else anyone else uses? Um, but I will I'll make sure I have this and I'll share it in the team page. Cause I just want to make sure that we um, have those. So if you think of anything else, I'll leave it open and then I can just add it to it and then I'll share this with you guys. Um, the other thing, can you guys see the, my um, Canva story thing? Do you see the picture change? I don't know if I have to like stop share and reshare. Does it show like girls working out and then like superfood in a book? Yes. Okay. So I was going to show this to you guys too. Um, somebody had asked in the, in one of our pods about a um, Instagram story 
like how I did those pictures the one time. Um, and I think Rachel had created some and shared. I was just going to show you guys like how I do this, but this is probably exactly how Jody does her videos. And I just realized that right now. Um, so basically all I did was I just went to Canva and then it, you can open up Instagram stories. And then these are all just templates that you can use. Um, so they're all just like different kinds of templates. And then I just take them and then I put my own pictures into them. So I just like uploaded like a bunch of photos and stuff. And then I just drag and use these. And then I just download them as pictures and then share them with you guys. And then that's what a lot of people use on their stories. Um, let me see if I can find my one that I did before. And I just try to have like some sort of theme for my boot camps just to make them a little bit more fun. Um, but if I scroll down, like it'll show you all of my designs and stuff that I've done in the past. Um, so like, here's this one for an example. Um, so I picked the background, obviously, like for it to be the leopard print. And then I just did like the back to fitness one. And then I added photos. Um, I, I always do fitness. I always do nutrition and I always do like support. And then I talk about the coaching part that they get and then results. So that's pretty much what a boot camp is. Um, and then I just show them um, my link tree or like my bio and stuff for them to click on. And then this is like the list that I use for my boot camp. So um, that's how I make those. Uh, I just use Canva and I'm pretty sure that's how most of the other girls use it. So, um, okay, before I go to um, Instagram handles and stuff and review any of that. Um, I will copy those two things for you guys just for the apps and stuff. Um, but before I do this, I want you guys to know, like when I go through these Instagram handles, um, if I say anything about your page, please do not take it like <laughs> to heart. Like you could go to my page and like tell me a hundred different things I need to work on. Um, I'm just doing this just to show you different Instagram handle pages. Um, just to show you like the difference of coaches, just to show you that we're all different um, and just to help make everything better. Um, and so I'm going to start with everybody's profile picture and their name. I'm going to start with their bio and then I'm just going to scroll through like six photos and just show you and just talk out loud exactly what I do. Um, and then this is actually what I do to myself every single night before I go to bed. Like I lay in bed and I'm literally like scrolling and Aaron's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm reviewing my page. Like I want to make sure my page looks exactly how I'm trying to say it. Um, and so when I do that, please don't take any of this to heart. Um, is Canva what you use when you do your Instagram stories? Yeah. So, um, and it's super nice cause you can save it to your photos, like in your phone and you can like post it a couple of times a week. Um, and then what's really nice is, um, if I'm like super busy that day, I'll put some of those in my stories um, just to kind of like fill it a little bit. Um, or if I talk about the boot camp, maybe you post fitness and then you like give a little like video. Um, hey, like for me, fitness was something I really struggled with. These workouts were amazing because, and share that. Then you can share a picture of nutrition and then talk about how you feel about it. Just kind of like mixing it up a little bit and stuff too. So I'm going to do a couple of pages and then I actually want to do some stories. So if you're on this call and you're like, Hey, check my story out. Um, I would love to just like scroll through some stories and stuff too. So, um, that being said, some of you were brave and put your Instagram handle, um, in the team page. And so I'm actually just going to go through and scroll and pick a couple of those. Um, if you want me to go through your actual page and like give you feedback, I'm more than happy to do that. And I actually have the time to do that so I can like get like a sign up or I can just go through the list. Um, but I just want you to know that I'm not better than you. I'm just wanting to do this because somebody did this for me. And so, um, yeah, it's just helped a lot. So, um, Kelsey, you were the first person. So I'm going to open up yours if that's okay. If it's not. Too bad, so sad. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Kelsey underscore right. Okay, so um, let me screen share. And this is something that I actually have to work on my page with is um, so Mel talked about making sure that your username actually is like your name. And I was like, well, that's stupid because I make a change. Like, how are people gonna know that? Um, but she did talk about like changing that. So it was like your first and last name. So if you look at hers, it now says Mel Metro instead. Um, it used to say something else, but, um, okay. 
So Kelsey Wright, love your profile picture. I can see your face, so that's awesome. Um, mommy in times two, dental assistant, animals are life, mom on a journey, teach busy moms to get fit and earn money. Like, okay, so I love this. Um, one thing that Jody actually helped me with was in my bio um, to when people come to your page, they want to know what you can give to them. They want to know what you can help them with. They want to know um, what your page has to offer to them, if that makes sense. Um, so if you wanted to, how you have teach busy moms to get fit and earn money, I freaking love that. Um, maybe like the next one says, click here to learn more or click here to join up or something like that. Um, if you wanted to change like the top three things, I know I helped you with this when you first started, but you could tie this in and saying like crazy busy mom of two, showing you how I built this side hustle in the cracks of my day kind of thing. Does that make sense? Like giving more of like a kind of like a story ish in your bio, if that makes sense, just to kind of set you apart. Um, you don't, but if you do, please, please, please don't ever put like Beachbody coach or something in your bio. Cause you are not a, like you are a Beachbody coach, but you're not like you are like completely different. <laughs> Everybody is separate. Um, okay. So then if I scroll, I can see she started using, did you start using your preset? Yeah. Yeah. I can tell it looks awesome. Um, so I love like these, all of these photos like are very bright and, um, um, like I can tell like when I'm scrolling, the only thing I'm going to say is like this picture right here with Shakeology, get rid of it, like take it out. You don't want anyone to know you can show like the side of the box or like this, like sometimes I do the side of the products definitely do that um this right here your closet thing like that's speaking to me right now like i'm such a nerd so i would like click on that um you have a lot of like see the shakeology one don't ever use those ones do like a cup full of something and then try to tie people in that way um but i love how you're sharing neil and your babies i love that part of it um just try to stick or stay away from like just showing like boxes of stuff um so and then another thing is just work with some different angles. So do you see how when I scroll, like, do you see how these are all four of your face? So maybe do one, um, like this one with the sweatshirt, maybe instead of doing it like that, maybe have you um, sitting by your computer and then like kind of hitting your sweatshirt, like just do a different angle. Um, he's so cute. Um, like this one is you and your headband and stuff. And let's see what you're talking about. Um, rainy days, always folding laundry. So like, what if you were standing on the kitchen table, folding your laundry? You know what I'm saying? Like just giving different angles of people. Um, let's see. Sometimes no reason is a good enough reason to get all dolled up. Like I love it. I take a lot of these and I like the little short quotes. It tells me who you are. Um, on this one, if you wanted to, you could even take like a different angle and show some of your tattoos and talk about them. Like I love that stuff. I love reading about like meanings behind all of it and everything. Um, I like this one. Um, I love getting pedicures. Okay. So this one right here with, um, glasses, you could do like a swipe and do different, your picture with different glasses on and then have them swipe if that makes sense. So they stop and they're like, what is she talking about? Um, you can do some transformation ones too. Um, but I love like your preset that you have going cause it's like brown and I love it. It makes your skin very, um, tan and stuff too. Um, not knowing what to post and I'm just using whatever picture looks good to me. Yeah. The pic, the preset's awesome. So Kels, what, honestly, what I would do is I would, um, okay. So up in your bio, you have dental assistant. If I scroll through here, I would have no idea if that makes sense. You can do like weird photos. Um, maybe you don't need to take them while you're at work. Like I understand that, but maybe do you wear like scrubs to work? Like what do you have to wear for your outfit? Um, you could go ahead. I need to unmute you. Oh, hold on. There you go. We, we change into our scrubs at work and then we change out when we go home. Okay. Is there any way, is it like, okay to just like snap a quick photo of like you and your scrubs or something yeah 
yeah, I would do that and just share it just to like kind of tie that part in and like how you've been working this business and how you still work a full-time job and make it happen kind of thing. Um, and then like, obviously you have kids and Neil and stuff and you, um, and then like, if you have any weird quirks, just take different angles. Like I love your wording. I love your posting. I would just say like just different angles. So like on this one and this one next to each other, these two, your top two are perfect. But then if I scroll down on this one, do you see how these top two are like the same mm -hmm. this white one? And then this sweatshirt one, it's just like the same angle, if that makes sense. So just trying to like, maybe take it like facing like put it up here or I don't know, set it on the dining room table and like walk away from it or something like that. Um, just doing different angles, but I do, I love the new preset. It's cute. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Um, life with Is there an underscore? There she is. Okay. Um, Okay, so we got good profile picture, love it. Life with Bethy, good. Bethy Clark, boy, mom, wifey for lifey. <laughs> Weirdo since 92. Okay, that's super cute. Florida, Tennessee, finish body and healthy mindset, helping women get fit and build their empire. Join me, perfect. Okay, so what I would do instead of boy, mom, um, I don't know, like busy mom working it through the cracks. You know what I mean? Like, just give me more. Um, cause like being, I don't know, snotty. I'm like, cool. You're a boy mom. Like, what good is that going to do me? That's how Instagram people like they go to your page and they're like, what can you offer me basically? Um, and so if you're like busy teaching busy moms, blah, 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 blah. Like I would add something in there for sure. Um, I like the helping women get fit, but the thing is what's your niche, you know, is it just women or is it, is it busy moms? Is it busy boy mom? You know, or whatever. Just get a little bit more um, into that part, I think. I love this, your um, highlights, by the way. They're super cute. Too glam. Like, share that stuff in your bio, too. You know, like, maybe um, um, something about, uh, I mean, it doesn't have to be, like, makeup or whatever, but you could just do something about, like, glamming up the chaotic life or something like that or helping women glam the chaotic life or something um preset freaking love it okay so Kels I know that you are like super crazy busy but um is she still there you are no you're fine I just wanted to show you do you see how she has like just different angles like her standing on a car and stuff and like this one where she's like um going down from the sun that's all I'm talking about with you like I love your photos just like get different angles just get fancy or get crazy with it. Um, okay. So love this one. This one is definitely you freaking love that photo. This is the coolest photo ever. This could be a really good profile picture too. I know you have the hubby in yours, but that's super cute. Um, love the dogs preset. I love this. Um, when you do side by sides, try to get it. So you're like, I know it sounds weird, but try to get it. So you're like the same height. If that makes sense. Cause like then people, I don't know. We're weird. We compare. So like, it's just easier for us to go back and forth. Um, love this. Love the different angles. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay. Um, let me just scroll and see. Okay. So right here, these, this one, the green shirt, the glasses and this one, do you see how they're all kind of close angles? I would maybe like throw something else in those three. Um, <laughs> like these. I love these photos of you. Um, you can really tell like who you are and like what you're doing. Um, if when you're sharing Beachbody transformations, if you want to, you could share yours first and then have it swipe into other people's, if that makes sense. So when they scroll through your page, they see you. It's totally up to you. It's just a preference. P.S. I kind of miss your pink preset. <laughs> super cute. It's dreamy. Like these pictures are cute. Different angle, different angle. I love it. Um, the only thing is, and don't take this the wrong way. Like I love your face and you're adorable, but like do some other stuff. Like, so it's not just, um, you, you, you. And that, that's what I struggle with. Cause it's like, well, I, I'm myself and I hang out with myself all day. So, um, if there's anything else you could do, you know, like these ones are so cute when you're like on this wall, um, you know, just random ones, the ones of your kiddos and stuff. Um, like this Jeep one and this, like these two pictures, 
tell me more about you than like 20 of these photos. Like you can really tell like this is who you are. And um, so just like, yeah, living, get your freak on, <laughs> live through your freakness. <laughs> but yeah, I love it. So I would just work on angles and stuff. And then, um, yeah, I mean, I know you're super happy. And these photos are all like super happy. It's just who you are. <laughs> yeah, getting more out there with your photos. Absolutely. It takes time. Like, I'm not saying that because I'm perfect. Okay. Um, Jen. All right. So, with Jen's, um, hot mess express Tyler mom living in scrubs and sweats, living life my way, sober by choice and happy mama Jen email. Okay. So, um, this is the part I love, like the hot mess express Tyler mom, but like, then what? Like, give me some more, like, um, trying to create that side hustle or like just give me something more like what um how can I join this hot mess express toddler mom because like I'm reading it and I'm like okay if I'm a hot mess express toddler mom like what can you help me with if that makes sense um like you obviously like our nursing staff scrubs like how can you help me if that makes sense um and then your email if you want to you could put it um, sometimes like if it says like message me or something like that, like there should be a button. I don't know if it's on the computer. Nope. Okay. It might be on your phone, but if it says like send a message, your email should be next to it. So you actually should be okay with taking that out unless you want to keep it in there. But I love the arrows down, but like, tell me what I'm doing. If I click that, if that makes sense. Like maybe some people are just scared. <laughs> like, I don't know what happens if I click it. Um, yeah, add value for sure. Okay, so guys, this is an example of presets, by the way. So do you see how she has like that pink peachish like feel to it? Um, we were just talking about presets. Um, it basically just takes the color and changes it so it's all pretty much the same. You'll notice when she's outside versus when she's inside, it's a little bit different, but that's because we have to mess with it a little bit, like with the exposure, that kind of thing. Um, Kelsey, I don't know if you're still watching, but like this part right here where she's wearing scrubs and stuff, like that tells me she's like in nursing and I would really relate to that if I was a nursing. Um, since she has her kiddos in it, like if I have kids in it, like I, if I have kids of my own, I'd be like, oh my gosh, she's like a cool mom. Like I want to check this out. Um, let's see. Okay. So if we did hot mess express toddler mom living in scrubs and like, let's say you're trying to add value and stuff, um, maybe add, I know you talk about it, so please don't take this the wrong way. I know you talk about the business, but maybe showing like, I don't know. Like how, like you, I know when you're sitting on your couch, you like have everything sprawled out and you're like writing down stuff and all of that, like sharing that part too. So then you, oh, right here. Duh. So like there's one, do more of these computer ones. Cause like, to me, that's like, oh, this is how she's making it work. Oh, she has her notebook on her couch too. Like I do that. Um, so just really tying that part in there too. Love transformations, love group photos. Um, I love your baby, like maybe just throwing in a different photo since you have these three um, next to each other. That makes sense. Um, freaking love. This, I love this photo. This should be your profile picture. <laughs> um, I love it. Okay. Inside, outside, in your gym-ish thing, hanging out with the girls. Yeah, I love that. So I would just um, clean up the bio a little bit, and then I would definitely do more of those that you said. Yeah, add them back in. Yeah, I love your preset. Very cute. Okay. Um, if this is helpful and you want to sit on the call, I will. I can literally go through and just give you my two cents for anyone. Okay, mama, stepmom, tattooed wifey, helping busy women get fit at home and make money, coach biz, team anchored, sweat and work with me. Okay, so we need to get your bio in a note section. So it's like, um, so the sweat work with me is right above your um link tree that's just OCD <laughs> um okay I love the mama stepmom tattooed wife part I wonder how we can help him busy with him and get fit at home and make money um you could say like helping mompreneurs like I know Mel used that for a while um just to like hit that market of people um I don't know. I feel like you have to have like 
the cool mom thing in your bio because you're like the cool mom. <laughs> you're like tatted and you have muscles and stuff. Um, helping busy women get fit at home and make money. I know a lot of us use it. I'm just trying to figure out how to make it more like just you. Because I think mine even says helping busy women get fit. Like I need to get mine more specific if that makes sense. Um, and I, I mean, you are a hotel manager and you're freaking working all the damn time. Like you need to put something like how you're making your business work. Cause you're doing a hell of a job and working full time. So I think that definitely needs to be in there too. Um, yeah, Shay just got you <laughs> just your local tattooed mompreneur helping busy women get fit, make money from them. Love it. Yes. Okay. Love your, um, highlights. Super cute. I love like the theme you've got going on. Love your profile picture, transformation, working. She's so cute. You guys like for real. Oh, she's so precious. Okay. Um, the only thing is that's super weird. And I don't want to say this is I feel like this picture, like the one of us four is like sticking out like a sore thumb. Do you see that? Like when I scroll. You have like the bluish like pop tint and then it's like really tan. I love the picture obviously, but it just, I don't know, just pops out differently. Um, but I love how you share family ones. I love how you do transformations and not all the time, but you still share them. Um, love these picture of you and your kiddo. Okay. The only thing that I would say, and this is what I get stuck in. So help would be awesome. Like these pictures are so freaking cute. This is cool. That's a cool picture. Um, is this part right here. So this is what I get stuck with. And if this is something you want to post about, that's awesome. But like, you see how you have like your, that's something that I'm actually working on doing on my page. My page is that fitness part of it. Um, but if you like wanted to do something different, like just figuring out a different way to share your fitness part. Um, because like, if I'm a mom struggling and I just come and see like you always like, popping all these freaking muscles. Like this picture right here speaks volumes of you. This one isn't really you. I feel like this one is you. And like this one's just like a beach body coach photo, if that makes sense. Um, that one's definitely you. This one, definitely you. Like just make sure when you're sharing your um, workout ones that it's you. Otherwise I love it. I can tell you have a different preset on these ones. But yeah, more of these, like show me what the heck you do during the day. <laughs> um, and it, yeah, there's one. Yeah, I love it. Okay, perfect. Um, Kate, um, I don't know if I should look at Kate's because she just got a new preset and I've already been, oops, wrong Kate. I've already been creeping on her. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so Kate just got a new preset and um, it's beautiful. So Kate is like super tall, brown hair, like super tan, and this just like pops. It's awesome. Okay, CEO Kate Turing. How do you say your last name? Turing. Yeah. Okay. Um, single mom, fitness freak, health nut, fashion lover, Spanish teacher. Okay, I love these. I love these bios. To me, like I love it. Um, if you wanted to like mix it up a little bit, since you're freaking like a hot mom, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you can, I don't know, have more fun with your bio, like. I don't want to say like single sexy moms, you probably get a bunch of weirdos, but like, you know what I mean? Like just play on the fact that like you are a single mom, but you're freaking rocking the crap out of your fitness. You like, you know, I don't know. I need to think a little bit with like the bio piece of it just to like, like what does Kate had to have to offer me? Like, I want to be Kate. How can I be Kate? Does that make sense? Like if I come to your page and I'm like your fangirl, how can I be you? Like show me how, tell me how I can be you. If that makes sense. And then like have something above your link tree so I can be like, yeah, I can be Kate. Okay. And like join that way, if that makes sense. So let me think on your bio, unless Shay has one written up for you. <laughs> um, photos, I love them. So she just like started, can I show them before? Like, it's not bad. Like they weren't bad photos. It's just that like this one, do you see how this one's like grainy? Um, then she's outside. And then this one, her face, like really, she's freaking phenomenal you guys but like these presets it just makes it so much more continuous like the pops of color her tan skin or brown hair like I love it and like these are all different angles like these are awesome and then you have one of your kiddos um fitness obviously outside like 
And um, you talk about like fashion lover, maybe doing some more of that so I can like see what you wear, where I can get it from. Like you're like a like to know it kind of girl is what I feel like, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, I love your new preset. I love this. Um, with, oh, that's what I was going to say. With your transformation photos. So Shay just talked about the layout on Instagram. If you put them side by side, there's no border down the middle or anything, take the wording off of it. So it's just you being a freaking bombshell and your before picture, and then talk about it in your picture, like February to March kind of thing. If that makes sense. So then it's like more clean. So even if you wanted to, you can take this picture off and then you can fix it and put it here. If that makes sense. If you want, like, that's what I do a lot, but yeah. Okay. I can't do anymore. <laughs> Fan girl. Okay. Brandy. Brandis 86. Okay. So Brandy works out a lot. I know that cause I always see her stuff. Okay. So Brandy, I don't know what she's on this call. Do, do, do. I don't know where she is. Maybe she's catching a recording. Okay. I'll just do hers really quick. So I would just change her bio part where it says boy, mama, fitness lover, beach body coach, take all of that out. Um, maybe showing, um, mom it's moms it's okay to have abs or something like that or teaching moms how to get fit and get their abs back or something like that um this is like a fitness one do you see how she has all of these are all the same if she purposely wants to do that that's okay um so it's totally up to her but there's just a lot of them in the same um thing so there's actually some instagram pages where she does that like they're all like this and they're all different clothes and it's like a phenomenal page. So if she wants to do that, I would probably just stick with that actually. Like I would take every photo like this cause it's freaking cool. Um, but then I would get a really sick preset. And then when you slide next to it, that's where all her weird pictures could be. So there's just, there's different pages like that. Um, again with her side by side, same thing with Kate's take the wording and stuff off of it, the border off of it, use the layout, cut it, make it clean. So, okay. Um, I think I saw Sammy. I'll do her. Sammy, which one do you want me to use? Do you want me to do your? Oh, shoot. I thought she was on here. There she is. Do you want me to use your? I can unmute you. There you go. Um, you can you can do either. The short stuff that one was literally like just created, and that's one that I was going to use for like part, like primarily for beach body stuff. Um, but you can do either. It doesn't matter. How many photos do you have for your short stuff one? Um, probably seven or eight. Perfect. I'm gonna do. It. Oops, sorry, I just cut you off. <laughs> sorry, there you go. It's okay. My other one would have way more, and like it would just be started. Yeah. Okay. Let me look at this one just to see, because I if this is your fitness. Okay. Perfect. All right. I'm gonna use this one. Okay. So, um, has her name. Five, five, four, 27 from Iowa, helping others achieve their goals. Okay, so I love this part, but instead of saying others, tell me who others are. I want to know if I'm an other, if that makes sense. So like be more specific on that part. Dog mom, I love it because I'm a dog mom, um, but maybe like either get more specific or just take it out because um, it's not giving any value, if that makes sense. Um, here to share my lifestyle, um, maybe say scroll my feed, to check out my journey or something like that. Like tell me to do something if that makes sense. Um, love this. Um, do you see how on this photo it's like weird lighting? Mine does that to me a lot here and I hate it because these lights are cute, but they suck. So, so I don't know if that's just something that like this one, you see how this is so bright and clear and this one's like grainy sort of. So if you're using a preset, just like working on that part of it, like this one's awesome because it's like so clear and like crisp. And then the ones outside are awesome. I would try to do some more outside ones too. So since you did outside workout, like coaching one or meal planning and then workout and then you and the boy and then do like some more outside one, like give me a little bit more. Um, helping so-and-so achieve their goals um by scrolling this page what would help me achieve my goals is probably the workout pictures and like this picture right here of your meal plan but you taking a picture like being super cute tell me how that helps me if that makes sense like with it does that make sense like with your fitness page since this is more of like just that fitness page if it was your personal it'd be a little bit 
a little bit different, if that makes sense. Um, so just add a little bit of beef to your um, to your bio. I love your profile picture. It looks very, so you seem very like outdoorsy or you have a lot of good photos like that. I would put those in here for sure. Um, and then you could do, instead of helping others achieve their goals, you could be like wonderless or adventurous or whatever, like getting more into that part if you're more of like an outdoorsy person. Um, meal planning goals. Yeah, you and Cassie need to be like best friends. <laughs> meal planning goals for sure so yeah I would share a lot of that too because that would give them that would give value to your to your followers for sure okay um I think Ashley's on here where's the cute babe I thought I saw her all her videos off okay All right, good profile picture. Full-time nursing student to juggle faith, fit, fitness, and food. Living my best life with my hubby and bug. Ready to join our team. Oh, there's someone in the chat. They're so freaking cute. <laughs> okay, so I love your highlights. They're really cute. I love like the pinkish, purplish theme. Um, maybe I love like the full-time nurse and how you're juggling those three things. Tell me like how you can help me. Because if you're trying to juggle it, how can you help me juggle it? If that makes sense. Um, and like, I love the, like living the best life with your, um, hubby and bug, but now you have two bugs. So <laughs> I got to change that part a little bit. Um, and then maybe join our team here instead of ready to join our team. Like, don't ask the question, like be like, Hey, you ready to join? Click here. Um, love the up close. This picture of us <laughs> is so freaking cute. I love it. Okay. Oh my gosh, baby. Oh, hello. Okay. Tattoo car. Okay, so again, um, yours was full-time nurse trying to juggle. Um, in your first, like, nine pictures, I have no idea you're a nurse, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> like, um, I don't know how you can make it so when I scroll, I stop because I see something about nursing. Or I know you're not working right now, obviously. But, um, like, if you have old nursing photos, like, Yolanda sometimes does a really good job about sharing old nursing photos, like, when she was miserable and how she's, where she's at now, or just sharing, like, the crazy life, or maybe you holding all these bags now because you have, like, babes and everything, like, just sharing how you're making it work. Um, like, this is awesome, this book, because that's giving me value. I can go and get that book, if that makes sense. Obviously, you and your babe is, like, super duper cute. <laughs> um... I'm just trying to think of, let's see, living my best life with the hubby. I don't see him either. Oh, there he is. Tell him he needs to smile more and get in your pictures more. <laughs> um, so yeah, I would try to, like these, these three are all pretty much like your face or like cut off of your face. Like try to get some different angles. I love your um, transformation. Try to see if you can like, take the one on the left and make it bigger. So it's like more side by side, if that makes sense. I love the picture of your dog, but like, um, is this for national dog day? Yeah. Okay. Um, I love this cup theme. Okay. So like this one, this one, this one, and this one are all like, kind of like that same spot. Maybe if you could do like this one, you can do you a little bit farther away, like at a restaurant or something. I know it's really awkward, but I make Aaron do it all the time. It's fine. They live <laughs> just taking different angles really. Um, and just sharing more of like, now you have two babies. How in the heck are you making this work? Like, I want to be able to scroll and see like, oh my gosh, this is how you make this work. Like, I love this part. Um, on the layout, you can make those, oh yeah, make the photos bigger for a transformation. But I love this, like this makes me stop. Like what is she talking about? Cause I just see like your face and your emotion. I see your team, I see your baby, your quote. And then like this, I'm kind of curious as to what it is. Um, this right here would probably like relate to moms more like turning around and having your babies in the car. Um, like just the other ones, just kind of giving me more of like, um, how you're a busy nurse and how you're trying to really make all this stuff work, if that makes sense. Um, and for goodness sake, share the cute baby. <laughs> um, let's see. I don't think Caitlin's on the call. I'm gonna skip if you guys aren't on the call just because I'm wasting everyone else's time and I can totally go back and do other people's too. Okay, everyone have your high vibe pants on. <laughs> We're going to Joey's page. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, Jody's journey, super cute. I help busy 20 something gals tone up, lose weight, and design a sustainable lifestyle without dieting while living their best life. Perfect. So do you see how like um and she's the one actually had me change my own. Um, but it just like gives you if you're 20 something, now you're reading it. Okay. So like next year when I'm 30, I'd be like, no girl, go to the next. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but like this just kind of like reaches her market. Um, tone up, lose weight, design a um, sustainable lifestyle. And I like how she actually used design just because like, that's like her actual job. Um, and then like tone up and lose weight, like it kind of hits her market and then living in her best life without dieting, which is be awesome, ready for a change. Instead of the question mark, I would just put like, um, click here to make that change or something like that. Just be a little bit more direct, I guess. That's just me. Don't. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Um, I know that half of these photos are perfect because she already asked me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, face picture, um, picture away, standing away, different angles. These two right here with the hats, I would try to separate something. Um, just because, and P.S. I just got that shirt. I just realized you have that. Crap. Um, transformation, boy, farther away, up close, workout, group, group. I would just do something with these two since they're just similar to each other. I would separate them. Maybe take this, like one of these two out and then put it like at the end of it. Cause I feel like you have a really good, um, array of different things of you living your best life, if that makes sense. Um, so you're giving me what, um, yeah. Do you use the same Google doc for your link tree, but change the challenge group name? Yes. I don't ever create a new, um, let me see if hers pops up. So if you click on her link tree, it'll take you to, um, her boot camp. If I click on it, it should take me to her Google form. And so, um, hers is very generic. Like, let's do this girl. What's up? What's up? Like, that's how she talks. But like, this could be for any of her boot camps. So you can label this part, Kels. It changes right here. This less, let's do this girl. If she would edit it. She can change it. Mine says like fall forward or whatever like that. So I change mine every month or every week. So yeah, that's a good question. Um, I guess link tree would be another app that we could put on our list, but it's more of like for your Instagram story. So love your profile picture. Super cute. All right, team, maybe you're up. All right, profile picture, perfect. She's in Florida, living that busy mom, wife, life is gold digging, college student, working in the cracks of my day to help busy ladies love the skin they're in. Awesome. So like I'm already vibing this park. She said live in, she didn't put living. So I can tell she's a little edgy. She's using the fonts app that I talked to you guys about. Um, people would be like, what? You're a busy mom and a college kid. Like if that clicks with them. So like Jen, she's taking classes and she's nursing and she's also a mom and all this stuff. Like she probably would be like, this reaches out to me. Um, and then this part where it has like the arrow, maybe put something in front of, or the, um, pointing down, like maybe put something, um, like, got goals or something. I don't know. Something like that. Um, or let's dig in or something. Um, okay. So photos farther away, good up close transformation. Okay. So I love like your edginess and stuff. And I love that you live in Florida. Like, like this picture right here is like the freaking bomb.com. And then your inside and then transformation and then black and white. Like, I don't know if you yeah, are doing that every so often, but just make sure you continue that because that stuck out to me really right away. So if you're doing that, like randomly, that's awesome. Just keep doing that part of it. Um, this one right here, this one doesn't necessarily make me stop. I just wonder how you can make it more edgy with you in it or like a back angle or something. Um, like this is so you. So like these two next to each other, when you put your next photo, they're gonna be right next to each other and they're pretty similar. So maybe just see if there's anything you can do with angles and stuff. Um, same thing. So like these, uh, I guess these are, these ones are okay, I think. Um, I just like, I love different like angles and stuff cause it like grabs people differently versus like all the same and stuff. Um, I love that you share just different things. Also, like you have a rocking bod and you live in Florida. Like blow this freaking page up with these. Like <laughs> all freaking day, every day. 
um, this right here tells me that you're a college kid making it, college student, sorry, making it work. Like, this is what I need to see. I need to see you doing this. Like, that's the, what I was talking with Jen about too. Um, this right here, this makes me stop more than the cup and the computer, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, share this freaking bod, my goodness, lady. <laughs> I love the outside photos for workouts instead of just like being inside smiling being inside like flexing i love these like outside ones it's just so much more it just make, makes me feel like i know you more than i actually do yeah i love it okay perfect um okay um i don't is kayla on the call the way shay you're up uh, i don't see her okay i'm gonna pick on shay and then we're going to pick on me because I do that too. Okay. So Shay, I want you to take this bio right here and I want you to craft something crazy. Like, give me something like, um, I don't know, born to stand out. I don't know. So like teaching, I don't know. I don't know. Just something about like how you're not like everyone else and you want those people to be on your track kind of thing. And like, how can you, I don't know lady lifter taking her life back like how are you doing that you know like just give me a little bit more and then point me to your link tree like just give me something like to get there so that's your task bye <laughs> um love it far away up close far away up close do you realize that these two are right next to each other i don't know if that's something that you want to do um that's just something that sticks out right away um cute dress clothes do you see how these four are all the same angle almost, if that makes sense. This picture is freaking badass. Because <laughs> it looks like a transformation photo, but it's not. Um, try transformation back photos. Like this looks like Jericho, very real. Um, mirror workout. Yeah, like we, we talked about this a long time ago, like the mirror photos and stuff. Like I love this love that photo. I love this photo. Like that's so you, um, like just random angles and stuff. I love those. Yeah. I would just work on just like just different angles and just making sure I'm not part of your browser on fleet though. <laughs> okay. And this right here would be like a bomb friggin' profile picture, by the way. Hey girl. Hey. <laughs> okay. So your thing is your bio sister. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do mine because it's not perfect and I have lots of stuff to do. Okay, so if you want to throw anything in the chat or unmute yourself, but um, I changed my bio, so I'm not telling you to do something I'm not willing to do. Jody made me change it. <laughs> um, I've been going back and forth about changing my Instagram handle name to like Megan Geese, but at the same time, I don't know. I'm just Megan Change. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Um, profile picture, you can see my face. I'm goofy. I'm wearing clothes, like my clothes that I buy on accidental purchases. Um, I would love to get that in my bio if I could. So teach busy women to get fit and make money, sharing my journey from teacher tired to boss babe and how you can too, ready to make a change and then click. So I want to get something else in here besides just teaching busy women to get fit and make money. I want to do like something with like accidental shoppers or something. I don't know. Like, cause that's my people, if that makes sense. Like, um, to make money, to fund my accidental shopping addiction. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. I'll be changing that. Okay. Um, my highlights are outfit of the day. Cause like, that's why I want to tie it into my bio results, business boot camp. Um, my pictures are just random pictures. They're not really, maybe I should change those. They're just random. I just took one photo and just moved it. I don't know what to use though for like color scheme. Um, do I do like a pop of like a color? Maybe I'll do like a green or something. I don't know. It needs help. Teal. Okay. Done. Okay. So then I did group picture. Um, and what I'm trying to do, and I kind of fricked it up right here with this picture, is I'm trying to do a lot with me and my headbands and stuff because I want, um, that's just me, that's part of like my accidental shopping thing. So what I've been trying to do is like fitness, um, but not 
just like smiling and flexing. I've been trying to do different ones with my headbands. So like if you see like this would be a four square. So this one I kind of fricked it up, but maybe I'll fix it, I guess. Um, I've been trying to share more group photos of our team. And so you can tell I messed it up on this one. So I've been trying to decide if I, so I did an up close one, a team one, and then this, these bother me <laughs> because I don't know. It's just too much of me in six squares. So um, my headband bin, yes, for sure. I just need to do different, I don't know. Like I love this cause this is me, this like happy picture. I wish I was like sitting differently or wearing something different in that picture. Cause if it was more of a dressy up picture, I don't know, but like farther away, like looking down, but like, I feel like all six of those are like, I don't know. That just bothers me. <laughs> um, outside group picture, me being me headband one. There's another headband and headband outside team picture headband headband outside. And I was doing the super, the smoothie bowl. Um, but like I had them all in there and it like was way too much. So I'm trying to decide what to do with that. So I took them all out. They're all on archive right now. Um, but yeah, since I started, I've been trying to do this where it's like headband, group, me, headband, group, me, headband, me. Like I've been trying to be like continuously do the headbands because that's kind of who I am, I guess. I always put them on in the morning. Um, more of my accidental purchases. Yeah. And it was so much easier when I was teaching because I actually had to get up and like wear them every day. I don't know. Maybe I will. Okay. So I need to do that more. I'll just do that. This row. Help me with this row. It's bothering me. Which ones do I take out? This one? Maybe. I don't know. There's, it's awful. I can't handle it. <laughs> Maybe I'll take out these two. I don't know. Someone help go to my page. More of you and your dogs. What's the goal of the highlights? I don't really get them or what I should be putting in there. Oh, duh. I should probably say that. Okay, so this is just like when you put stuff on your stories, if it's like the bomb and you want people to be able to see it more often, um, you can add it to your highlights. So um, if someone's like boot camps, like what are you talking about? You can go to my page, you can click on my boot camps and it'll like once you click on it, it'll open. And these are just like what my boot camps are. So like what you can expect from my boot camps. Um, and then I shared like the bundles and stuff. These all you have to share on your story first and then put it on a highlight. Um, so when I talk about boot camps, people can refer to this all the time. And then once you keep scrolling, it'll have um, like results and all stuff. Right, so the fitness and then there's me talking about what you want to do, whether that's weight in a picture and then me talking. I feel like. So I kind of like explain like what my boot camps are in that in my stories, and then I save them to my highlight. Like outfit of the day was so much fun when I was teaching because it's literally like all of my outfits, and it was super cool because I was like, what did I wear yesterday? I totally forgot. So like this is something that I want to get back to doing, like taking pictures of and sharing because I used to do it all the time. And apparently my computer's not loading, but these are all like my outfits I wore to school. And so a lot of the teachers were like, oh my God, this is so cool. Like you have all your outfits on there. Like I'll just match those and stuff. Um, so that's something that I want to get back to doing is like sharing all of these. Um, so maybe like one day I'll just change and <laughs> just take a bunch of rant. I mean, I have time to do it. So maybe that's what I'll do, but okay, perfect. Okay. So, um, if you are like a newer coach and you're just starting your page out and stuff, um, if you want a really good laugh, you can go to my Instagram stories or my page and like scroll all the way down. They're awful. <laughs> so don't feel like you have to be like perfect. Like I've literally been trying to perfect these for, you know, however long. Um, my suggestion is just to get um, an idea of who you want to be and what you want to share with people. Um, you know, like if you go to different coaches, you get a different feel when you get on their page. Like Karina is very like edgy versus Jen is more of like, um, girl next door kind of thing, if you will. Like they, you can just tell the difference between them. Um, and so you just need to think of like who you are, what your color scheme is. Um, that's what I did with um, 
the guy I'm working for, for Bobby, I was like, what color scheme do you like? And he's like, well, I really like the, the white, but I like, you know, dark red and dark blue and dark gray and stuff. And I'm like, okay, well, you, your page can't just be dark because that'll be like depressing. So I just try to like grab a pop of color or something. And so for his color scheme, it's like red, blue, um, like a navy blue, a dark, like a dark gray, and like a pop of white. So he has like a color scheme and like if they don't fit, he doesn't post it. Cause that's like his, that's what he's trying to do. Um, and so in mine, like if the photo's really crappy, then I just don't post it. <laughs> um, and what's fun on Instagram is um, once you open it to like a public profile, it gives you an insight and it tells you like when people are looking at your page and like what times of the day, what days are the most, like exciting sorry Aaron just got home I guess I thought he was home early um but that helps a lot with post sorry I know it's really annoying um and so like I post um nine noon and three and sometimes they don't post after that because um nobody's watching my Instagram stories because they're all in bed sleeping because they're all old <laughs> but if you have like a younger audience they're usually on Instagram later if you're a mom maybe you have people on your Instagram at like two in the morning, you know, because they're up with their babies or something like that. So just think about, um, and look at your insights on your Instagram too. So Instagram is nice because you can post less and you can do more of you. Sorry. Yeah. Jody said her people are usually on after nine. So yeah, like just a different market. So like mine is 20, I think mine's 25 to 34. And so mine's normally like nine noon three and sometimes 6 p.m but usually after that like they're busy you know with kids they're busy with their lives and all that stuff um so that's usually why my instagram stories are going but my page is usually dead after about like six o'clock just because that's when my market is usually on um but instagram is i think for me instagram posting is like stopping people um good photos good quality like clear and and like I don't know, just like makes you stop. But your Instagram story is like hot mess express, share your life kind of thing, if that makes sense. Um, so um, let's see, just a small town turned city living Canadian traveling. Is there two L's in traveling? Sure. Traveling the world and helping fellow nerds take their lives back one network out of time. I love it. Um, I love this. That's cute. Wait, yeah, I like that. Small town turning, traveling the world and helping followers take their lives back. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. That's okay. I like it. Good. Okay, so if you do not have an Instagram page um, and you're wanting to open up one and stuff and you want help with just like the first, like your bio, just kind of like getting that figured out, please, for the love of Pete, do not put like, I am a beach body coach because you guys are way more than that. Like it's just a stepping stone to help you get to where you want to be. Um, so your page is for you. It's not for beach body. Like you don't have the open an Instagram for a beach body. Like be you, like be, um, you saw how all of these coaches are completely different and stuff too. So just keep that in mind. Um, but that's all I have. So 